Creating offset outlines is both a creative and a functional tool. It lives in the edit menu and helps us create shadow layers or incrementally bigger or smaller versions of a shape or shapes. We can use it to create seam allowances around shapes for sewing or adding drawn borders to the inside of shapes from cut card. Let's take a look at how we apply that. First, select the shape that you want to put an outline around. Then, go to the Edit menu and choose Create Offset Line. We now have this pop-up dialog box. Unlike the online version, the installed version of Canvas Workspace gives us a bit of a preview of what the offset line will look like. It doesn't take our original shape but it does give us a good idea of what it's going to look like. The first option we can change is the spacing and this is the distance from the original object to the new line that will be created. Then we can either send the new line outwards, so away from the shape, or inwards, so sending it inside the shape. We can change the corner types from being rounded to beveled and we can also choose what to do with the original shape. So we can choose to leave it in place, we can choose to delete it so we would just end up with the new outline or we can set it to be a drawing line. So the red line you see will be a cut line and the blue line would be a drawn line. I will leave everything as they were when I first opened this box and I will leave this box ticked as well. I will show you where that becomes relevant later on. If I click OK you will see the new shape has now been added. Now although I didn't have the option to set what this new line would do I can change its type in the operation drop down box so I can change it from cut to draw. I can also apply a fill colour and I can edit it and weld it with other objects in the same way I can any other shape. Let's take a look at this with the circle. I select the object, choose the menu option from the edit menu. This time I'll make it a larger spacing and I will send the direction inwards leave the corner type as it is and just for kicks we'll set the original shape to be a drawn line. Now we can see that we've got our new shape inside the original shape and if I select the original shape you can see that the operation has been set to draw. This actually might not be any good because I might actually want the drawn line to be inside so again I can still change that after I've completed the offset operation. Now what about this heart? It's got much more detail in the shape. Select it, start the offset operation. Let's drop that down again. We'll send it outwards. We'll make the corner types beveled and we'll delete the original shape. So now we can see the original shape is gone, the new shape has been created and we're ready to go. How about this border? Let's try that. This time I'm going to drop the border down quite fine. I will still send it outwards. I'll change back to round and I will leave the original shape in place but this time I'm going to turn off the option that says to create an offset outline only around the outer edge. And you can see now that landlocked areas will be included in this calculation. And there we have our new border or new shape with the landlocked areas included. The offset line is particularly useful for text 
because we can create shadow layers with it. If you have any letters that have landlocked areas, make sure this box is unselected. Because I don't, I will actually select this option. Click OK and you can see a nice big bold shadow layer around that text. Now that was the logo type of text. What about text that I have actually entered using the text tool? Well, let's try it. Now when I click OK, I get this error message. And this is because we have intersecting paths. If I zoom in, I can show you what I mean. So we can see here, each shape has been individually created. And because these paths are overlapping, we can't create the outline. To solve this, we go to our Edit tab and choose Weld. This will fuse these together to create a shape that we can work with. Now if I try and create the outline, it will work. So we can see, we can apply the outline to any object that we can load into Canvas Workspace, even images that we've imported from USB sticks or that we have traced using the software. 